Hello and welcome. In this video I will demonstrate how to create a simple feature in uh, SharePoint 2013, a custom feature. So to begin I will create a new project and we'll select the uh, SharePoint solution. I'm using SharePoint 2013 so I'm going to select the, an empty project and uh, I'm going to call this um, uh, let's say feature solution one so by default it will select uh, my SharePoint instance I do have SharePoint installed locally on this machine so I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna select deploy as a farm solution and click finish so it'll go through and it'll add the reference to the uh, SharePoint uh, library and I will also add a key.snk, which is the uh, to make it a strongly typed uh, name uh, assembly. Um, so that's really all I need. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a feature by right clicking and saying add feature. And here I'm going to call this hello world. And let's say this is a feature for changing oops the site title and that's really all I need now if I click click save here um, I can then rename this feature to something more meaningful like uh, let's say hello world so notice that it renames all the files for me. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this Hello World feature and I'm going to choose Add Event Receiver. You will notice here that um, there's already a, a few functions defined here for me. So I'm going to uncomment the feature activated. And also the feature deactivating which as the name says will trigger when a feature is activated or deactivated so I'm gonna um, put some code in here to change the site type. so I've got some code prepared here I'm just gonna copy and paste this um, actually rather than me typing this um, it's probably easier to do it this way and I'll explain the code um, in a minute Okay, so the code that I just copied over, and there's some comment here, um, basically this creates an SP web instance, um, and here I'm creating a property called original title, and I'm putting the original site title in that property, and then I'm storing it in the database. So next, uh, I'm taking the site title, and I'm assigning uh, the string hello world to it and updating it back to the database so anytime this feature gets activated um, it automatically um, runs this and it changes this whatever the site title is it will change it to hello world um, on the opposite end when the uh, feature is deactivating um, it will again create an instance of SP web uh, it will check to see if the uh, site properties have a, a um, property uh, called original title and if it does it takes the original title string which is the original name of the site and puts it in the uh, site title and updates it back to the database so that's really all this does and I'm gonna save it now obviously if you're deploying this um, to a production site you would just right click here and say publish and then you would um, publish this whole solution to a directory and then use PowerShell to install um, the uh, feature but for debugging purposes I'm gonna put a breakpoint right here and I'm gonna just hit start here and it should run the uh, browser for me and automatically uh, deploy this feature to my uh, SharePoint instance 
Now the SharePoint instance will be the one that it detected when I originally created the solution. So um, let's give it a moment here and it should go, it's asking me for a login, which I can enter. So here, if all goes well, you should see the site title, Hello World, which is correct. So now in order to deactivate this feature, let's go back to uh, the site settings section and there's the manage site features and in here we should have a site feature called um, uh, hello world now let me search for it okay here it is so notice that right now uh, it has the uh, title hello world and uh, the, here's the description that we gave it so and it's set to active so if I click on the deactivate button uh, theoretically it should uh, step into my um, feature deactivating uh, code um, so let's hit deactivate and yes deactivate this feature let's double check here see if we got a breakpoint we do so I'm going to hit deactivate this feature and sure enough it goes in here and I'm not going to step through this code but it's going to go ahead and reset the site title back to what it was originally so if we now go to the home page it should have the new title in here for us oh, it looks like it didn't do that uh, Let's try this again. Let's close this. And uh, stop the debugging session. And I'm going to refresh this separately to see if it got turned back. Ah, and it did. So it looks like that was a browser caching issue. So. That's all I wanted to cover for this video. Please subscribe and ask any questions that you may have for the video. Thanks.